Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about resetting a Mobius quiz. So this video will show you how to give a student a second attempt on a Mobius quiz. Let's talk about some reasons that you might want to reset a quiz. This could include a student having technical issues while taking the quiz, a student accidentally opening the quiz instead of the homework, or a student who just needs an opportunity to redeem their grade. Use your best judgment to decide when a quiz should be reset. We, of course, want to encourage student success, but we also don't want this to be that every time a student takes a quiz that they ask for a second chance. Our guidelines are that they get one chance, but you know that things happen, and I trust your judgment to decide when this is appropriate. So let's get started. So I'm going to student view to show you what this looks like. So I'm a fake student right now, and you notice when I go to my quiz one, it says you do not satisfy the requirements for the activities but you may request an exception and this is what we're going to do we are going to go through the steps to grant an exception so i'm going to exit out of my student view i'm going to keep my data so i can look at it again in a minute and now i'm going to go to the mobius instructor information and over to the gradebook before we can reset the quiz, we need to know if the student submitted the quiz or if the quiz is still running in progress. So think about if they had a technical issue and maybe they were 15 minutes into the quiz and it kept running and we're coming to fix it an hour later, it's going to think that the student has used all of that time. So we need to finish off the quiz that was started and we need to start fresh. So what we need to do is go to the particular quiz. So I'm going to go to mod one, quiz and homework. Um, and I'm going to hit all students. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking at is anybody still in progress for the assessment? But because I did mine as an instructor, so I'm an other user without grade, I'm going to do search. And you're going to see that my quiz is still in progress. So that means I need to force this grade. So there's a couple things we need to worry about here. When you force grades, it forces everyone. I can't force a grade for a single person. I can only do it for an assessment. So if you have people that are currently in progress in the quiz, you don't want to force grades right now. You want to come in and do the force grade at a time when nobody else is working on it. So that might take a little skill and practice to figure out what time no one else is working at it. Um, maybe really early in the morning or really late at night. Um, you're just going to kind of have to watch it and decide when you're going to do this force grade thing. But when you're ready to do that, this will be similar to force grades that we've done at other times where you, where you click on the name of the assessment. And then when you look at the force grades, you say force the grades. And at first it doesn't look like it did it, but if I had search again, you'll show that the progress is finished. It gave me my really low score that shows you that yes, I started the quiz and I didn't finish it, which is why we needed to reset it. After that, after we force the grade, then we're ready to go through the steps of giving that next attempt. But this is where we should start is looking at the progress to make sure that the student has completed it. If we don't do this part where we make sure that the student isn't currently in progress, this just isn't going to work correctly. The student is not going to get their full time and then we may end up having to repeat the process again. So really pay attention. First step is make sure no other students are currently working on the quiz. If they are, hold off come back later to do the fourth grade. And then after that, we can start the easy process of giving the student another attempt. So we are gonna start in Proctor Tools. We need to locate the student and the quiz they're trying to take. So I'm gonna hit this advanced search. You would go through student, and then you would want to go to the assignment filter, and we were doing quiz one, so I'm gonna to go to quiz one, and we're gonna hit search. Now, this is going to bring up all the students, but I am specifically going to me, so I'm just going to hit me as the instructor so you can see me reset mine. So once you've done the search, what we want to do is we want to grant permission for a start re-enter. This is going to reset and let the student do the quiz again. And remember, you've already specified which quiz it was, so it's only doing it for this one particular quiz. What you have to do is click the person that you want to grant that exception to. So I'm doing this for me, but you do it for the student that has asked for this exception. And then you say authorize. And that's it. So let me show you that that worked. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to go back to Blackboard, re-enter student view, go to my module one, go back to my activities, and I'm going to click on the quiz. 
Now it says I can start the activity. So this has given me another try and you see what it says, the maximum. I have one of two used. I've done this twice before to make sure I did everything right before I made a video for you. So pretty easy to do. It shouldn't take you very long to do it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me, Tammy Barker, or to Jerome Heaven. We're both happy to assist you in anything you're doing at Tech.